Here we go, the historical moment. Graham Cullis Art meets Tara Reddy from OA, AO, AOP. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh, I thought he's gonna get that. <laughs> Arts on prescription. And I said, ooh. So and next I up said, is uh, Cecil Brogan. She's one of my really good friends. I've been teasing her for quite a while now about what I'm gonna be painting for her and giving her clues and yeah she's been uh, she's been going crazy uh, trying to find out what I'm gonna be painting for her. Here you go Cecil here's your commission. I'm even using an easel. Look at me. Full on artist now of an easel. Maybe already gone. Yeah. I'm gonna go and watch the sunrise with mother and my sister. <laughs> Coming, Dad? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm reading the story. All right. You don't want to come and see the sunrise? No. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Pevensey Bay on the south coast, and my mum lives. 105 seconds away from the beach. She timed it. Hello, my boy. Hello, Instagram. Oh. Well, hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> really? Will I be famous? <laughs> oh, you already are famous. <gasps> Isn't it? Oh, my sister's already down here. She's impatient, like me. Good morning. This is Amy Cullis, my sister. Sunrise, sunrise. Looks like it's a little bit cloudy, but it's looking like it's going to be a good one. Sunrise, sunrise, couldn't tempt us if they tried. Cause the afternoon already come and gone. And I said, Ooh. So today I'm really excited because I'm going to be going and to I visit said, um, Hastings. And I'm going to be uh, meeting up with Tara Reddy, who has started an organisation called Arts on Prescription. Yeah, so uh, we're going to talk about how I can get involved and how I can spread her message and yeah, uh, see what we can do really. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the and events I that they put on. So I've made it to the uh, beautiful Hastings or St. Leonard's on Sea. And I'm gonna have a little look around, maybe look in the shops. So yeah, let's go and uh, let's go and find a little cute little cafe somewhere. I need a coffee. Surprise, surprise. Couldn't find it in your eyes. But I'm sure it's written all over my face. Surprise, surprise. Bonjour! I just found this cute little cafe on the seafront. Um, let's go and get a coffee. 
Thank you very, very much. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm. Cafe. Bonjour. That's probably the best camera I've thought we've ever had. Ready, everyone? She's a bit camera shy, uh, but uh, she's I am. an absolute legend, and she's doing an amazing service for the community here in Hastings and St. Leonard's and the world. Um, so, okay, right. So, Tara, tell me your. Let me get my my questions out. I'm being a very professional blogger, interviewer. I've got a pad, of, pad and pencils. And yes. Who is Tara Ready? Hello, I'm Tara. Hello, Reddy. I'm Tara Reddy. I'm uh, I am an artist, so I can say I haven't really been doing any artwork recently. I seem to have my head stuck in spreadsheets, funding bids, and coordinating this arts for arts for wellbeing project. I started working in a mental health project, um, and part of social prescribing. So basically, I'd spoken to the employers I was with at the time and said what I felt that we needed was to sort of embed in GPs and um, get people at the beginning to have a look at the bigger picture of mental health or before people reach crises um, and break down, support people on a sort of more holistic way. You're now being referred by doctors, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. So I've worked with that for about um, three years, four years. So we run a, a public health award. And, um, and then um, I wanted a little bit of a break. And then in the meantime, I set up um, Arts on Prescription. And I live in Hastings. It's a really creative town. There's lots of music and art everywhere you go. But I started realizing that it was always the same families accessing arts and any community event, you'd see the same families, which is great. But there was a great big community that were just not accessing yeah. those opportunities. But that's one of the problems, isn't it, with art, that um, it, is, it does seem inaccessible to a lot of people, because they, it's, it's kind of a, sort of a, I don't want to say it, like a nose in the air well, yeah, kind of exactly. approach. But yeah. then really, like, it is for everyone, and uh, people just don't realise that. Yeah, well, that leads me on, so what um, services does Art and Prescription um, I mean, what, what events do you do? We would invite people into um, the GPs and run either painting classes, ceramic classes, drama, dance, um, creative writing, collage. Singing. So singing, singing classes, which is great for wellbeing. So we'd invite all these professionals in and each week we'd do tasters and then they'd try all different things. And then when they thought, actually, I really like that, they'd then have the opportunity to enrol on a six or an eight week yeah. intensive course to really sort of get the feel of it. And then with that, out of that, we've had people now enrolling for the college offering to do volunteering, setting up their own choir group yeah. and you know sort of the whole idea is that people link up. Into Tara is changing people's lives with yeah. this now, it's what a thing to get behind eh? Amazing, that's really good. Is everything online right now, have you got anything that people um, can attend? Yeah we up? have um, we have singing in the garden, well we've been doing singing in the garden okay. um, because it's outdoor yeah. And um, so we've been running that, that, so that's really lovely. <laughs> uh, and then we're also just starting um, a drumming circle. I saw that, yeah. And we're going to be doing um, a woodland um, trip where people can, um, they get picked up from their homes. And we're going out to the woodlands and we're going to explore nature. We're going to make our own charcoal. We're going to yeah. draw with charcoal and we're going to connect with nature and um, awesome. habitat and environment. So that's going to be really exciting. That's I can't wait for that. What can people do public wise that aren't necessarily going to be using the service, but how can people help your charity? Well, creating an awareness would be great, sort of for people so that people can access it. What, what, what would you like to see in the future for your organisation? A lot of this, um, as I said, volunteer-led and um, writing funding bids so that we can secure fees to pay to the artist. Yeah. And um, we've also um, secured um, funds to provide um, art packs with paint brushes, acrylic paints, charcoal, sketching pencils, sketch pads. 
sharpeners and erasers and wellbeing tips and activities for um, all the people that can't access them themselves, maybe they're on low income or they're shielding still. And as well, increase of referrals are coming in from GPs and that, we're going to need to put in a proper business structure. So I suppose what I'd ask for would be great to get some funding in. Well, I am actually running a competition at the moment, not a competition, I'm running a um, an auction right now for one of my artworks. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a picture of my eye that I did my second painting. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I've got about uh, 70 quid, 75 I think is the latest <laughs> bid, but it's still going until Sunday. But I want to give that to your organisation, the money for that. Oh, wow. Uh, so you can, you can take that and buy some art packs for your. Uh, Right, people. lovely. Yeah, oh, so cool. and, uh, oh my god, that's so nice of you. No, that's yeah, all right. Lovely. No worries yeah. at all. Oh yeah, also tell me about um, Quentin Blake. What's yeah. the story behind that? Oh yeah. What is the story behind okay. Quentin Blake? Okay, well I wrote to Quentin Blake because um, basically... Oh, if you don't know, Quentin Blake is the so illustrator behind all of the Roald Dahl books. Um, which, uh, and did he draw... He, he kindly did us um, an arts and prescription logo. Um, he likes what Show we were doing. Camera. Oh, there we are. I'll let you do it. Check that out. Quentin Blake original for arts and prescription. So um, I, I wrote to him and said that um, he was going to, he was showing um, an exhibition at the Hastings Contemporary. Yeah. So I wrote to him and said that, you know, we'd, um, Decide, with a group of us had decided to maybe put together a lockdown pack for school kids during lockdown and then it was for so people can sort of make their own page in history really and keep a book so um, we've literally just got these printed and they're to go out to um, like family centres, food, food banks <laughs> food banks and uh, people who want them really and he did that for us for free what a legend so that's Quentin great Blake. sir Quentin you Blake you are a legend sir Tara thank you ever so much that's for right. speaking with me today uh, you, are, you are my first interview on my platform to help spread wow. awareness so, okay uh, brilliant yeah and uh, the first charity that I would like to help you get on board with so yeah it's uh, yeah, it's Really well, something. no, it's, thank you for inviting me. And, no worries. Yeah. Uh, the world's at our feet and I think that this, this is just going to grow and grow and grow. We need your help uh, to spread the awareness. So this post, please share, like, comment, save. You know the drill. Do everything you can to make this post go viral so people can get the, get the word out and uh, we can spread this message to everyone. And I will be joining Tyra again. Uh, on another video blog when I go and uh, check out what she's doing. Might be doing. really good. Mm. Yes. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, All right, definitely, high five. thank you. Okay. Let's have a look at me. Alright, Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my first, uh, my first official mental health for our therapy uh, vlog. Uh, there's going to be more like this to come. I need more support to do more of this content. So if you can spare a couple of quid once a month for like a price of a coffee to help me help me on my art journey and my mental health journey to help uh, spread the awareness to people that need it and that would, that would really mean the world. Uh, so just go to patreon.com forward slash Graham Cullis Art. You can make a small monthly pledge there of any amount. No amount is too small. Uh, to help me with my cause. Uh, a few quid a month uh, will go a long way to helping me free my time up to be able to concentrate more on spreading the word of uh, art therapy and mental health. And I will send you prints of my artwork once every six months as a thank you. And 10% of the money will go directly to mental health charities. Um, but yeah, thank you very much and I really, really appreciate for the people that already started to support me on Patreon, it means the world to me. But I need more help to get me to get me where I want to be, so please, 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 if you're already slightly considering it, then that you don't know how much that will mean to me if I get that notification through <laughs> saying that you've pledged. And uh, also, just to let you guys know as well, uh, it's starting to work. Um, people have already started to reach out to me through my various social media channels that are in need of help. And also, it means that I can be a person that listens to them and uh, directs them to appropriate channels to get help. Uh, so just so you know that this this project is working and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's doing its job. So um, if I can help save just one person, you know, that just... Uh, that makes this whole thing worth it. A small monthly donation will be helping change the lives of others and helping me do that. And I said, ooh.